Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. Today's topic is scale. At the end of this video, you should know how to calculate a scale. You should know how to determine the increment. You should also know how to, how to calculate a 1 to 10, a 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 100, and also how to draw a scale. What we have here is a 1 to 50 scale. On this 1 to 50 scale, we have some equally spaced increment or hash mark. It's important to note that 0 starts at the second line, not at the first line. The first increment is used for the 100. On a regular scale rule such as this one, regular scale rule, the major increments, the major increments are in units of 1000. So you will see from, from here to here is 1,000, here to there another 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. But we know that we, we need smaller units like 150. Scales are normally used for building drawing. In this case, what we do, we divide the first increment into 10 equal parts. So here we have increments of 1,000 and here we have increments of 100. How do we calculate a scale? And how do we determine the distance for each thousand? It's simple. Let's do the maths. Say for example a 1 to 50 scale. On a 1 to 50 scale, this means that 1 millimeters or 1 unit on the paper represents 50 millimeters out there. So a scale is basically a ratio. What you have in this case is that um, this drawing is reduced to one fifth, one fifty of the original size. As we would know, it would be impossible to find a drawing paper that can fit a typical room. So we have to scale comes in scales comes in handy where now we can reduce a drawing by a proportion to fit onto the paper. In this case one millimeter maps onto 50 millimeters in reality how do we calculate this how do we determine these increments it's simple on a 1 to 50 scale one millimeter maps onto 50 millimeters we need to we need to know how many millimeters maps onto 1,000 millimeters. Why do we use 1,000 millimeters? We use 1,000 millimeters because the distance between these increments are 1,000 millimeters apart. It means therefore, to do the maths here, we will have x equal to 1,000 over 50. This will leave us with 20 millimeters it means therefore that on a 1 to 50 scale 1000 millimeter always represents the distance is always 20 millimeters no matter where you go if you check this ruler on a 1 to 50 scale you will notice that between each thousand millimeter it measures 20 millimeter if you were to use a regular scale on it all right so let us draw this draw our scale so now that we know that 20 millimeters is the is the increment or the hash mark that we use on a 1 to 50 scale let's get going First step would be to draw a horizontal line. Once you have done that, next step is to draw our starting point. Now that we have determined that the spacing should be 20 millimeters, which maps onto 1 to 50 scale, open your compass to 20 millimeters. Next is to mark off 
some increments of 20 millimeters. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So here we have a scale that can measure up to 1, 2, 3, 4,000 millimeters. The next step is to draw some vertical line through these points. First vertical line, second vertical line, of great importance we need to note that when you're drawing a scale, zero starts at the second increment, not the first increment. And in a bit, I will explain why. So here we have zero, here we have one, thousand, two, th thousand, three, thousand. The next step is to divide the first increment into ten equal parts because we need smaller units. So here represents the fraction of the thousand, okay? So here we have 10 equally spaced increments. These increments represent the fraction of a thousand. The next question, how do we use this scale to actually draw? Let's start by drawing a line. So, from, from, from 1,000 to 0 would be 1,000, from 2,000 to 0 would be 2,000, from 3 to 0 would be 3,000. If we wish to draw, say for, to, to draw, say for example, 1,200 millimeters, you would put your compass at 1,000 and you'd go over to 2. You'd go over to the second increment, 2. That would be 1,200. And to transfer that to your drawing, you'd go from here to there, 1,200. Next, say for example, we wish to transfer a distance of 2,400 millimeters. We will put our, our, our divider at 2,000. We would extend beyond 0, 400, over to 400. And that would give us 2,000 plus 400. 2,400 when we transfer this to a joint. Next say we want 1,500. We will go 1 and down to 5. 1,500. Say for example we want less than a thousand. So we want 700. We will go for we will place of great importance. You place your compass at you divide at 0 extend to 700 700 that's what we get to our 700 then we'd mark off that distance say for example we want 150 you would open your compass from 1 to midway the distance between 2 between 1 and 2 yeah uh, let's use a larger value say we want 550 I would Place one, my divider at 1, at 0, then extend it to 600, to the midpoint between 6 and 7 to get 650. Then I would transfer. That's pretty much how you draw a scale, how you draw a scale, how you calculate it. Let's look at some other calculation. How do we calculate these other scales? How do we determine this distance? Because the scale is, this distance, spacing here, increment, our hash marks are relative to the scale that we use okay let's see how that goes to calculate a 1 to 20 scale we need 1 to 20 means that 1 maps on to 20 if 1 maps on to 20 what distance would map onto 1,000? 1,000. We use 1,000 because 1,000 is the main increment. We have one unit, we have, we have um, increment, 
our hash marks of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 going up to 14,000. So for maths, 1 over x equals 20, 20 over 1,000. Invert, 1,000 over 20. This would give us 50. It means, therefore, on a 1 to 20 scale, increment is always, always 50 millimeters. Always 50 millimeters. All right? Let's do another calculation. <clears throat> Let's take 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Same principle applies, 1 to 10 scale, x maps onto 1000, 1 maps onto 10. What's the value of x? x would equal to 1000 divided by 10. So x in this case would represent 100 millimeters. It means therefore when you're designing your scale The space right here would be you'd, you'd mark off some increments of 100 millimeters 100 millimeters. So here would have been 100 100 100 All right. And that's basically all there is to scale